I'm Jasmine. Let's take a look at the problem. If G is the midpoint of FH, find FG. So the keyword in this problem is midpoint. And that is what lets us know that FG is equal to GH because G is right in the middle of FH. So we'll need to set the 11X minus 7 and the 3x plus 9 equal to each other because those segments are equal to each other. And then once we use that to find a value for x, we'll have to put that x back into the original expression 11x minus 7 because that's what we're looking for in the problem. So let's start off with the first step. So 11x minus 7 equals 3x plus 9. So we'll start by combining like terms. Let's start with the x. So we'll move the 3x over. We'll subtract that from both sides. And we have 8x. And we bring down the minus 7 equals. This cancels out. And we bring down that positive 9. So now we move the 3x over to the left side of the equation. We'll move the 7, the negative 7, over to the right side. So since that's a negative 7, we are doing plus 7, positive 7 on both sides. And we have 8x. This cancels out. Equals 16. But we're not finished because we need x by itself. So since it's 8 times x, we are going to divide, which is the opposite operation. This cancels out, and we are left with x equals, we'll simplify the 16 over 8, or 16 divided by 8 is 2. So now that we have the value of x, which is 2, we can use that information because we still need to find the value of fg. So fg is 11x minus 7, and we're going to replace that x with the number 2. So here we have 11 times x, and we said that x is 2, minus 7 equals, and that's what we need to find. So PEMDAS. So we'll do 11 times 2 is 22 minus 7. And then we go ahead and simplify that. And we are left with 15. So we know that FG equals 15.